Hello everyone, my name is Roran. I'm a bioinformatics engineer from Sage Bionetworks. Today I'm going to present our ongoing challenge meta analysis in order to identify the features that maximize engagement in different um, challenges. First, what's the purpose and why we are doing this work? If you don't know, gym challenges are challenges in general, uh, community competitions that invite public participants uh, to submit their solutions, algorithms to address uh, various uh, not limited to biomedical questions in order to improve reusability of many advanced competition methods. And then from 2012, Dream Challenge has organized and completed more than 45 challenges. Well, uh, most of the challenge outcomes have been uh, published in well known peer reviewed journals. It's time to review the challenge themselves to understand more about how to make a challenge successful, uh, what makes a challenge effective, and what could be improved. Uh, before going into our global distance results, I would like to show you our first exploration attempt to make a cluster heat map. We use more than twenty, uh, more than twenty different features of challenges, including data types, number of submissions, uh, whether it uh, provide a price, etc. And yes, the data we have is mixed type data. So we first transform non-numeric data uh, into one hot encoding data, and numeric data was log transformed. Uh, because it's highly schooled, as you can see in 2A, uh, figure 2A, along uh, with the minimax normalization. However, as you can see, uh, there are a lot of sparsity in the heat map here in figure 2B, and it's not easy to interpret. That's because we have a lot of category data and missing data, and that's a pain. Therefore, we decided to use Galway distance method, uh, which worked well for mixed file data as well as it can handle missing data. And the heat map on the right shows the dissimilarity matrix of gym challenges using Galway distance. We could see three clusters already, but we will further use PAM to do clustering since it's better fits for a uh, mixed type data set. Uh, in the figure 3a, we visualize the clusters of all gym channels using PAM and SLUID plot uh, by picking the highest average SLUID width. We find uh, two clear separation based on the challenge year. Uh, old means the change launched before 2016, uh, while the young means uh, after 2016. Also in the figure 3b, the box bar indicates uh, the user engagement data was significantly uh, different between the two clusters. User, enga user engagement data are the data collected from discussion forum, where participants can ask questions and communicate with the organizers. Uh, then we realized the discussion form was not developed or well known until late 2016. That makes sense why there are two clear separation clusters. Uh, so we also tried to use only the changes belong to the uh, cluster number two from figure 3a and re-cluster into five new groups. And re the results of the new cluster um, shows better mix of years in 3C, figure 3C, but the trends with a similar year still trend to uh, group together. And from the box plot result in figure 3D, we still can see the difference in user engagement data. Uh, even we only use uh, you know, young trends after uh, 2016. Therefore, uh, it seems that user engagement data plays key roles in differentiating the trends. And speaking uh, to the non-numeric variables, we first transform the data into a contingency table. In other words, we count the frequency of non-numeric variables in each cluster and visualize in the heat map by 4A, 4B figures, uh, where, uh, where we have six uh, categories total. And uh, after we have the contingency table, we use feature exact test to check whether the category, category is associated with clusters and the significance then was uh, determined by just p-values less than 0.05. As a result, we found the model on um, conversation and types of uh, contributors were key drivers for clusterings on all data, while the model conversation and incentives were uh, significant differentiators among these uh, new five clusters. Moreover, if we uh, evaluate the frequency heat map along with the number of submission and registers, uh, registrants, we found that uh, documentation did not seem to be a big barrier to uh, submission. Uh, in contrast, the higher number of submission uh, associated with the challenge provide model uh, condition as a submission method, uh, which is interesting. 
uh, if we're looking at the figure 4b with figure 4a 4d uh, participants might be more willing to engage when genomic or uh, image data provided with all being said, uh, we are still continuously curating dream challenges. For uh, for example, we are working um, to add a uh, layer and a layer of sub channels to uh, account for how the number of sub channels changing over time for different channels. And in addition, more channels from other platforms will be integrated into our analysis. For example, the figure for A shows the Gower dissimilarity matrix of the 14 precession FD, uh, FDA. Uh, Chinese, and we could already see one outstanding cluster, which uh, we will further explore it. Uh, once we are acquiring enough data and are comfortable with uh, selected features, we could build um, predictable models for uh, effective and popular Chinese. Um, I would also like to bring up our another developing project, Registry of Open Community Chinese, which will serve as a web-based central portal to capture standardized uh, change metadata host down different change platforms. So the data in this matter will also be integrated with a, a register of open community change platform. Uh, that's all for today's um, preliminary analysis. I would like to acknowledge, acknowledge um, my team for all excellent work and all the data contributors from Dream Challenges, Session uh, FDA to uh, Change Golf. Thanks so much.